Hey there. It's Maggie, Grammy with a hammer, working on more uh, Christmas gifts. So hopefully you can hear me over the fan, but I think with this microphone, it's like 90 degrees already, 10 o'clock in the morning in Florida. So I got multiple projects going on, but this one I'm going to start today is for little plant boxes. I have those agave cactuses and they make babies and babies and babies. And I'll put a picture up here of some of the babies. So they're free. The babies are free. And then at Lowe's in the at least my Lowe's, I'm guessing every Lowe's. And the back corner of the lumber section, there's this bin and it's, you know how like they get those big pallets of construction lumber and they have them sticked in between so that airflow can go. So they have a lot of like pieces like this and like this that are in there that are just junk wood and they're free for the taking. So I thought this would make a good little plant box. It did have some staples in it. I was able to take out most of the staples, but this one bugger I just can't get out. So I'll cut that off. So I'm going to go to my miter saw and cut them to length. And then I'll run them through the planer. And then I'll glue and brad nail them together and have cute little planter boxes. So that's what we're doing today. So hold on. Okay, because I'm too lazy to get the planer out and they're so small pieces, I'm just going to sand these down. Um, I'm going to get some new sandpaper because this looks like crap, but just going to take some 60 grit and sand it down so it looks decent. Then we'll go to glue up. Okay, and I'm going to sand out the driveway on a bench because I'm trying to keep down on the sawdust in the garage. Happy wife, happy life. So, let me put all these sandy down. So, I'm going to take these and just butt joint them, right? That's what you call it. And now, like that. Then my thought is, will it? See, they're all supposed to be the same size, so hopefully they're all just really the same size. They're close enough. Then I want to put that one there. That won't work though. That's what I want to do for a bottom. So, do I do this? No, because that's still too short. So, I'm not going to be able to use these as a bottom. Just so you know. That's alright. We can cut it something else to be the bottom. So we are just going to glue these up into little squares. And I've got blue tape. I'm just gonna use blue tape as clamps. Okay, next question. What if I did it this way? But I think that'd be too tall. We need to be shallow for... Tape. Hopefully this works. I'm thinking I should have laid this down before gluing. But hindsight's 2020. So yeah, so when you do this at home, lay the blue painter's tape first and then put the wood on top of it. So hopefully it stays. So then this is gonna go like this. an idea. Don't know if it'll work. I forgot I had these cutesy little, you know, the little white trim nails. 
So what about those? Would those work, do you think? So I'm gonna try. Let's see. Because the tape's not working. But then I was worried about it like splitting. So then I was thinking I'd take a thumbtack. So I pretty girl hole. Put her nail. And then pound the nail in. Oh, so this will really work either. Do I need to have a real hammer to get things? I'm gonna get a rail hammer, see if that makes a difference. Hold that thought. So I turned a baby hammer into a mommy hammer. Let's see if this makes a difference. May not, it may. I also have lots of different sized nails in here too, so it's gonna be fun trying to grab the right ones. Okay, so I'm back. So I put in the nails in the boxes. So there we go. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make like a template to figure out how big to make this. How strong do you think it needs to be? So I get this scrap piece of plywood. I mean, it doesn't need to be that strong, right? It's not holding that much in it. We could do that. Okay, so next we need a marker or pen. Didn't I just have those right here? Oh shit. What did I do with them? Oh, there they are. And then we can use the jigsaw for this because I mean it's small enough. Okay, so then we're just cutting. So I made, kind of made a cutesy square. Well, since it's coming the inside against the wood anyways, I think I'm gonna make it darker so I can actually see it. So right here, right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out with a jigsaw. I'll be back. Okay, so while I was looking for my jigsaw blades that I couldn't find, because I don't know where I put them, I was able to find some little tiny brad nail screws. So I am going to, excuse me, this one more, maybe, I think this one more coming. So I just took and hand sanded the edges down just a little bit, you know, nothing major. Because again, this is going on here. So the thought is that I will glue and brad nail this. That's my thought. So, glue it. The gluing hasn't been my friend today. Da, 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 da. Side down. Okay. 
not the best at lining up the brad nails. So once I get these four in, I'm gonna flip it over to see if I actually got it. Ooh, I actually got it in the wood. It's a Christmas miracle. And this should help it stay firm too, right? Now these are little screws, little nails, so see they won't fit through the edges there. So okay, next day, new shirt. We get two boxes here. Okay. Don't come at me saying you're not supposed to shake stain. Oh well. Okay, so I got this one off the mismatch at Lowe's for like five bucks. But it's the pre-mixed kind. So how can it be mismatched? But it's aged barrel. I'm wondering if because it had a dent in it. I don't know. Kind of beat up. Maybe that's why it was five bucks. But haven't even used the color before. I figure. It was only five bucks. So we're gonna see how cheap we can do this. And I'm gonna put a like a weed liner in it. So I'm not worried about the center. I can't get this thing open. There we go. Okay, it's kind of an odd color. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, you can't hear it. I live right by the interstate and I hear sirens. Earlier, a few minutes ago, I heard squealing brakes. So, I would say that means there be an accident on the interstate. Okay, so this is kind of like a aged, worn out wood kind of color. It's very gray and I bet you that when I wipe it away, it's just gonna look old. So, okay, good to know. Can you see that color? So there's one done. See, it's kind of like antique-ish, grayish, worn out, woodish color. I don't know what color that is, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, I'm back. So I clear coated this and let it dry. And then I just got some of that black liner stuff. I got it hold on with painter's tape right now because I am gonna let it kind of slide in with the dirt a little bit and trim it around to make it look nice. Um, I got some little cactus. And <laughs> I just grabbed it and pulled and this is how much came. You don't need this much. And <laughs> these gloves I'm wearing, not the appropriate gloves. These were stupid gloves to wear. I should have been wearing the thick leather gloves that I use when we like took out the bathroom mirrors and stuff. You know, those really sharp, those really thick leather gloves. That's what you need to use when using cat, when doing cactus. Learn from my mistakes. Okay, so now I got some dirt. Cause you need dirt. Do you think it's true that you, we all eat, what is it like a peck of dirt before we die or something? I don't know if you think that's true or not. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put some in there. And it's cactus, so it doesn't need a lot of moisture and stuff. Okay, so 
I found one of these. Size not sticking yourself. Just cut just below the green. You'll see, up there's the green. And then stick it in the dirt without getting poked. Like that, because they're sharp. Dang, have it. Okay, and then like straighten it up. And see these little ones? They don't matter. It all works out. So I'm just gonna cut it and poke it down. Go down. Maybe poke it down. Go down. It's like cutting hair. I know you're all going, oh no, those are important. No, they're not. These things grow like crazy. I just rip them out of the ground all the time and and stick them on top of the rocks. I don't even like bury them in the dirt and they just go down and everything else. Supposedly, these are the kind of cactus, of the agave cactuses that you can use to make tequila. But it takes like 10 years for them to mature. And then it's not the leaf thingies that they make tequila from. It's the heart, the center of it. And then you have to smoke it, which I'm not exactly sure how you smoke it, but you smoke it, so like cook it, like barbecue it or something. And that, and then you distill it. And that's what they make tequila from. So, good to know. Okay, so see, we got it in there. And then we're going to cut off, take off the blue tape. Take, cut off the liner all the way around without getting poked. Because our goal is not to get poked. And then just push this down a little bit. So what do you think? Isn't that cute? So this is the cactus baby from our yard. Wood from the free junk wood scrap pile at Lowe's and dirt. Make a nice little Christmas gift to go with the pallet wood trays we're making and the candles we made from Dollar Tree. So what do you think? Is this a gift? Is this something you would give as a gift? Because I guarantee you, these things are great. They don't die. It, plastic ones get dusty. These don't really get dusty either. And at least in Florida, they just grow and grow and you don't have to do anything with them. So please like and subscribe and, you know, give me ideas of what you do for low cost from the heart gifts for the holidays. Bye.